our unit of solving systems, we need to be able to identify the solutions of a system. Now the solution is the answer. And the answer in this graph, we will be graphing two lines. And the solution to this graph is where these two lines intersect. And that's the absolute solution. And so today, we are going to tell whether the ordered pair is the solution of the given system. So I'm going to pull out our first question. And now these, these equations don't correlate to the graph. But what I want to show you is that in a situation where 2, 1 could be on a line, it could be on this line somewhere, or it could be on this line somewhere. If it answers where the equation is equal to each other, then that tells us that they're both, if they both are equal to each other and they both are a yes, that means they intersect and it is a solution to this system. But if one is a yes, it's on the line, but the other one is not, then it shows that this line may put, have the point be somewhere where they both don't share. So let's dig a little bit deeper into this. I'm going to get rid of this graph for now. And we're going to pull in this equation or the system of these two equations. And let's get started. So in the first, it's asking us the ordered pair 2, 1. Is it a solution to both of these equations? And how I get started is I'm going to rewrite both of the equations x minus 2y equal to 4 and 3x plus y is equal to 6. Now I'm going to separate this by a line because I treat these separately and I treat them differently. So I always, always want to remind you as some students get mixed up which one is the x value and which one is the y value. So I still always put x and y above my ordered pair to help me out. Now the first thing that I need to do is replace the variables in this equation by parentheses. So I'm going to replace this variable x by this parentheses minus 2. Then I'm going to variable y with parentheses is equal to 4. So our x, our x value is 2. So according to our x right here, I'm going to put the number 2. Our y value is 1. So our y value is right here. I'm going to go ahead and put a 1. Now we know that this solution is on, or this point is on this line, if both sides of this equation is equal to each other. So I have 2 minus 2 is equal to 4. And 2 minus 2 is not, is 0. And 0 does not equal 4. So this point is not on this first line. Let's see. And so I would answer it with a no. Let's go ahead and try the second. We're going to replace each of these with parentheses, each variable with parentheses. And so for the x value, I'm going to go ahead and plug in the 2. And for the y value, I'm going to go ahead and plug in the 1. So we can see when we multiply 3 times 2 is 6. 6 plus 1 is equal to 6. I don't think so because 6 plus 1 is 7. And 7 does not equal 6. So neither one of these um, lines that we have here cross through to 1. So let's try another one. My phone is acting up while I am filming this video, so I apologize. Let's go ahead and pull out the next one. Is 1, 3, the point ordered pair 1, 3, is it a solution of this system? So let's check it out. Well, first things first, let's go ahead and write both equations out. 2x plus y 
is equal to 5. And negative 2x plus y is equal to 1. So when I go ahead and replace the variables with parentheses, it gives me a better understanding of where things need to be. And so I see a negative 2 times x. And it really helps me when I have um, negative numbers or subtraction numbers. That helps out a lot as well. So I'm going to go ahead. Remember, the x value is 1. So I'm going to plug in 1 for my x value. And my y value is 3. So I'm going to go ahead and plug those both in. So 2 times 1 is 2 plus 3. Absolutely, we see that it equals 5. Therefore, the answer is going to be yes. 5 is, or the point 1, 3 is on this line when I go ahead and graph it. Let's try the other one. So I'm going to plug in the 1 for my x, and I'm going to plug in a 3 for the y value. Therefore, I see negative 2 times 1 is a negative 2 plus 3. Is that equal to 1? 3 minus 2? Yes, it is as well. So what this tells me is that if I have two lines that are on a graph, that this point, 1, two, one 3, is going to be right where they intersect. It's not going to favor on one line. It's not going to favor on the other line. It's going to be right at the point, and that's how I'm identifying the solution, which is the answer in this system. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much. Make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel. Make sure you invite your friends to help them also identify solutions of systems. Hope this video worked for you and go ahead and like and subscribe and we will see you in our next video.